up guys so uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the whole reason why I started this channel and the whole motivation I have behind building this car and the reason why I called the channel build it RT so when I bought this car I had a goal in mind I never thought I'd put you put this on YouTube but I had a goal in mind when I bought this car, and that was to beat my dad's Camaro. Now my dad had a 68 Camaro, I've talked about it before, and uh, he had a 454 big block in it. He had it built up. My cousin has the car now, because my dad ended up trading the Camaro for smoking the Bandit Trans Am back in the day with my uncle, and my uncle had the car, and then he gave it to my cousin. So, uh, basically, I'm trying to beat my cousin's car now, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to achieve that with the engine that's in this car, because the 454 big block has 100 cubic inches, and it's a big block. This is a 345 Hemi small block, or short block. So to be able to get the power out of this car naturally aspirated, and he had his naturally aspirated, his time was 10.44. That's a hell of a time to beat, period. So uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make that time with the engine in this car. And I'm trying to figure out if it would be fair if I were to put a supercharger on this to make up for that other uh, 100 cubic inches. But the old school way of thinking is there's no replacement for displacement. So I don't know if putting a supercharger on this or not would be fair for that. But uh, that's the time I gotta be. I have a build list in mind. I don't know if I would be able to make the horsepower I would need for it. So uh, let's take the Hellcat for example. It's a 6.2 liter Hemi V8. Uh, I believe it is 372 cubic inches. Correct me if I'm wrong guys. But with the supercharger on it, it makes 707 horsepower at the flywheel. So if you reduce the number down to what it is at the wheels, I've had the minus 20%, which makes it in the ballpark of 562. So that's at the wheels. So at this at the wheels, I am making 367. So I have to jump about 250 horsepower to match, or excuse me, yeah, 200 horsepower to match the Hellcat. And the Hellcat only makes the quarter mile in 11.26 so the Hellcat's not even making the 1044 with a, a supercharger on it and that's with the uh, professional driver who knows what they're doing with it so my thought is would it be fair to put a supercharger on this and build the block and the heads and everything so that I'm trying to decide on the other thing I could think of to do is to save up a boatload of money and buy a custom made 426 Hemi from Dodge and drop it in this. Yeah, that, it's going to be a lot of money to do that. That's a whole new car, basically. I think uh, it's around twenty to 25000 And that's not even upgrading the the drive shaft and the rear diff and I mean everything, a whole drive terrain. So I'd probably have to end up uh, upgrading the transmission too. So that's 20 to 25 without the transmission in the pricing either or installation. That's something I wouldn't be able to do myself. I don't have the tools and I don't have the skills and I don't have the knowledge. And so 
But guys, tell me what you think. If you think I should put the supercharger on that, if you think I would make it fair because his was a naturally aspirated 454. Uh, I have another video coming out tomorrow. Just to remind you guys, CT Chargers uh, 60 to zero challenge is uh, tomorrow. So guys, you have a good one. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.